Hi everyone, welcome to Keep Calm and Crochet. Today I'm going to show you how to crochet this huge, cuddly and cute bear. This project is surprisingly easy as it requires minimum sewing and is worked up with very nice and easy stitches. I will be showing you how to work this step by step. For this tutorial you're going to need plush yarn in white, grey and some black yarn for embroidery of the mouth and the eyebrows. I'm going to be working this with 5.5mm crochet hook. In addition to this, you're going to need black security eyes. I've used 12mm size, plastic nose, fibre fill, pair of scissors, stitch marker and darning needles. Make sure you've got all of those things. Now before we start, if you enjoy watching my tutorials, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Let's get started. We're going to start off with the head and for this we're going to begin by working a slip knot using whatever method you prefer. Chain 2. Now from here you're going to skip your first chain and work 6 single crochets in the second chain from your hook. And once you have your six single crochets, you're going to pull on this bit of yarn to eliminate the gap between your stitches. Now round two, we're going to be starting to work on top of these stitches and working in a spiral. To do this, you're going to slip your hook in the first single crochet of your previous round and work a single crochet there. Now going back into that same stitch to work another single crochet. This here is called an increase. When you work two single crochets in the same stitch, it's called an increase. So for this round, we will be working six increases all together. Here's my third increase. Fourth increase. Fifth increase and my final one. Increase number six. Now this should bring your stitch count to 12. From here we're going to be working a single crochet in our next stitch to start round three. And we're going to follow this on with an increase. So two single crochets in the next stitch. And there we go. From here we're going to be using a stitch marker to identify the start of your round. So I'm going to be putting this stitch marker in my first single crochet here. And this is your combination for the rest of the round. One single crochet followed on with an increase, single crochet increase and repeat that all the way around till you get to this point. Go ahead and work that and meet me back here. At the end of this round your stitch count should be 24. We're now going to start the next round with a single crochet in our first stitch. Stitch marker back in place. Follow this on with an increase in the next stitch. So two single crochets in that same stitch. And we're going to follow this increase on with a single crochet in the next stitch. So here is my combination for this round. A single crochet followed on with an increase, single crochet. Single crochet, increase, single crochet. Repeat that all the way around. At the end of this round, your stitch count should be 24. Now I'm going to start the next round with three single crochets in a row. Here's my first. Second. And third. Followed on with an increase. And here's your combination for this round. Three single crochets followed on with an increase and repeat that all the way around. At the end of this round, your stitch count should be 30. We're now going to start the next round with two single crochets in a row. One, two, followed on with an increase, and then two more single crochets in a row. And here's your combination for this round. Two single crochets, followed on with an increase, two single crochets. Repeat that all the way around till the end. At the end of this round, your stitch count should be 36. Now going to start the next round with five single crochets in a row. Here's my first, 
second, third, fourth, fifth, followed on with an increase. And here's your combination for this round. Five single crochets followed on with an increase. Repeat that all the way around. At the end of this round, your stitch count should be 42. Let's start the next round with three single crochets in a row. Stitch marker back in place. Followed on with an increase. And three more single crochets in a row. And here's your combination for this round. Three single crochets followed on with an increase, three single crochets. Three single crochets increase, three single crochets. Repeat that all the way around. At the end of this round, your stitch count should be 48. We're now going to start the next round with a single crochet in our first stitch. Stitch marker back in place. We're going to follow this single crochet on with a single crochet in every one of these stitches all the way around. To finish one round, you're going to need 48 single crochets in a row. Once you've done that, we're going to follow the same method six times all together to have six rounds of just single crochet. So go ahead and work that and meet me back here. At the end of this round, your stitch count should be 48. Now before we continue with the next round, we're going to take a minute and insert some security eyes into the head. And to do this, you're going to make sure that the stitch that you finish with is at the back. And we're going to be inserting the eyes between round 11, 10 and 11. So here's my round 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So between those two, the eyes I'm using are 10 millimeter in size. I'm going to slip one eye in, count five stitches in between. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And insert the eye, the next eye into the next stitch here. Once we've done that, if we're happy with the positioning, we can go ahead and Put the backing on. And there we go. Now from here we're going to continue working with our next round. In this round you're going to start off by working six single crochets. So here's my first single crochet. Stitch marker back in place. Second. Third. Fourth fifth and my sixth one. I'm going to follow this on with a decrease. To do this you're going to slip your hook in the next stitch, pull up a loop, do the same with the stitch after that and pull up a loop. Three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all three in one go. And here's your combination for this round. Six single crochets followed on with a decrease and repeat that all the way around. At the end of this round your stitch count should be 42. Now going to start the next round with five single crochets in a row. Here's one, two, stitch marker back in place, three, four, and five. Follow this on with a decrease. So pull up a loop from the next two stitches, three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through all three in one go. And this is your combination for this round. Five single crochets followed on with a decrease. Repeat that all the way around. At the end of this round, your stitch count should be 36. We're now going to start the next round with four single crochets in a row. One, two, three, four. Followed on with a decrease. So pull up a loop from the next two stitches, three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through all three in one go. Two, three, four, and here's your combination for this round. Four single crochets followed on with a decrease. Repeat that all the way around. At the end of this round, your stitch count should be 30. We're now going to start the next round with three single crochets in a row. One, two, three, and we're going to be following this on with a decrease. Pull up a loop from the next two stitches, three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through all three in one go. And here's your combination for this round. Three single crochets followed on with a decrease and repeat that all the way around. At the end of this round, your stitch count should be 24. We're now going to start the next round with two single crochets in a row. At 
the end of this round your stitch count should be 24. We're now going to start the next round with two single crochets in a row, followed on with a decrease. And we're going to follow this combination all the way around. So go ahead and work that and meet me back here. At the end of this round your stitch count should be 18. And we're now going to finish off with the head by working a slip stitch in the next stitch, like this. And let's go ahead and snip this yarn off, leaving a long tail, and pull this out, and pull this down. And there we go. And this finishes the head of this pair. Go ahead and stuff this up before we move on to the next thing. Now onto the ears, and for this we're going to start off by working a slip knot and chain two. Now from here to start round one, we're going to skip the first chain and work eight single crochets in the second chain from your hook. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven and eight. Now we're going to pull this down to eliminate the gap between our stitches. And there we go. Now once you've done that you're going to slip your hook in the first single crochet and work your first single crochet there of round two. Going back into that same stitch to work another single crochet. Now that's an increase. So we're going to be working eight increases all together. Here's my second increase. Third increase. Fourth increase. And my final one now, increase number eight. And this should bring your stitch count to 16. Once we've done that, we're going to work a single crochet in the next stitch to start our next round. And from here, I'm going to be using a stitch marker to identify the start of my rounds. And from here, you're going to work a single crochet in every one of these stitches all the way around. To finish this round, you're going to need a total of 16 single crochets. So go ahead and work that and meet me back here. After one round of single crochet, your stitch count should still be 16. Now we're going to start the next round with two single crochets in a row. Stitch marker back in place. And we're going to follow this on with a decrease. So pull up a loop from the next two stitches, three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through all three. Here's your combination for this round. Two single crochets, decrease, two single crochets, decrease, repeat that all the way around. At the end of this round your stitch count should be 12. We're now going to work a slip stitch in the next stitch and let's go ahead and snip this yarn off leaving a long tail and pull it out of this stitch. Pull this stitch down to secure it in place and this is one of the ears. You're going to be following the same instructions one more time to make another one of these. Now onto the arms and for this let's go ahead and work a slip knot, chain two. Now from here you're going to skip your first chain and work six single crochets in the second chain from your hook. One, two, three, four, five and six. Let's pull on this bit of yarn to eliminate the gap between your stitches. And there we go. Now moving on to round two, we're going to be working six increases in this, starting with the first single crochet of your previous round. There's your second increase. Third increase. Fourth increase, 
fifth increase and the final one increase number six now this should bring your stitch count to 12 we're going to start the next round with five single crochets in a row here's my first I'm going to be using a stitch marker from here on second third fourth and fifth follow this on with an increase so two single crochets in that same stitch and repeat this one more time so five single crochets followed on with an increase so two single crochets in that stitch as well now this should bring our stitch count to 14. I'm going to start the next round with three single crochets in a row. Two and three. Stitch marker back in place. One, two, three. Followed on with an increase. And we're going to be repeating this combination three times. So here's my second time, two, three, and follow this on with an increase. Three single crochets, one, two, three, followed on with an increase. And now we've got two stitches left. For this round and we're going to be working a single crochet in both of them so there's my first and here's my second now this should bring your stitch count to 17. now i'm going to start the next round with a single crochet in our first stitch stitch marker back in place we're going to follow the single crochet on with a single crochet in every one of these stitches all the way around to finish this round you're going to need to work 17 single crochets in a row Go ahead and work that and meet me back here. At the end of this round of single crochets, your stitch count should still be 17. Now we're going to start off by working a decrease in our first stitch. Let's go ahead and put our stitch marker back in place. And from here, you're going to follow this on with a single crochet and then decrease again. Now we're going to be repeating this combination all the way around so just not the decrease but one single crochet followed on with a decrease one single crochet decrease and repeat that all the way around you should be able to fit this combination in there five times go ahead and work that and meet me back here at the end of this round your stitch count should be 11. we're now going to start the next round with a single crochet in our first stitch stitch marker back in place and we're going to be following the single crochet on with a single crochet in every one of these stitches all the way around. To finish one round, you're going to need 11 single crochets in a row. You're going to be following the same method five times to have five rounds of single crochet. Go ahead and work that and then meet me back here. At the end of five rounds of single crochet, your stitch count is still 11. We're now going to start the next round with nine single crochets in a row. Here's my first stitch marker back in place two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, followed on with a decrease. So pull up a loop from the next two stitches, three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through all three. Now to start the next round, we're going to be working a single crochet in our first stitch, stitch marker back in place, and we're going to follow the single crochet on with the single crochet in every one of these stitches all the way around. To finish one round, you're going to need 10 single crochets in a row. Once you've done that, you're going to follow that same method one more time to have two rounds of single crochets. Go ahead and work that and meet me back here. At the end of two rounds of single crochet, your stitch count should still be 10. Now we're going to start the next round with eight single crochets in a row. That's my two. Let's put the stitch marker back in place. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Once we've got our eight single crochets, we've got two stitches left and we're going to be working a decrease in this. And there we go. Now this should bring our stitch count to nine. We're going to be starting our next round with a single crochet in our first stitch. Let's follow the single crochet on with single crochet in every one of these stitches all the way around. To finish one round, you're going to need to work nine single crochets. You're going to follow the same method twice to have two rounds of single crochets. After once you've done that, you're going to fill this arm with fiber fill three quarters of the way. So all the way up to here. So make sure you fill this arm with fiber fill up to this point. Work those two rounds of single crochet and then meet me back here. At the end of two rounds of single crochet, your stitch count should still be nine. Now I'm going to start the next round and it's actually a row because we're going to be closing this top part of the arm off and working a few single crochets across the top. So make sure that the arm is stuffed as much as you want it to be. And from here, you're going to slip your hook in the next stitch, guide it to come out from the back as well. So if I pull my stitches apart, you can see the hook has made its way through the front and the back of the stitches in one go. Going to pull up a loop from there and work our first single crochet there. Slip your hook in the next stitch, guide it to go from the stitches at the back as well work a single crochet that's second third and my final number four so once you've worked your single crochets across all the way to the end going to chain one and we can go ahead and snip this yarn off and pull this out of the stitch and pull this down now that's one of the arms done you're going to follow the same instructions one more time to create another one of these. Now onto the legs and for this we're going to work a slip knot and chain seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now from here you're going to skip your first chain and start round one by working five single crochets in a row but we're going to start from second chain from your hook. Slip your hook in there Work your first single crochet, second, third, fourth and fifth. Once we've worked our five single crochets in a row, you'll have one stitch left and in that stitch we're going to be working four single crochets in that same chain stitch. So one, going back into that same stitch to work the second third and fourth. Now this will allow us to turn the corner and now we can start working at the base of these stitches. So we're going to work four single crochets in a row at the base of the stitches that we worked on this side. So four single crochets in a row. That's my first, second, third and fourth. Now in the next stitch we're going to be working and uh, working three single crochets in that same stitch. So one, two and three. Now this finishes our round here. We're going to start the next round by working a single crochet in our first stitch of our previous round. So here it is and I'm going to be using a stitch marker from here. To identify the start of my round, go back into the same stitch to work another single crochet. So this is an increase right here. I'm going to follow this increase with four single crochets. That's one, two, three, and four. Now from here we're going to be working increases in the next four stitches. So four increases. So that's my first increase, second increase, third increase, fourth increase and now we're going to work four single crochets in a row. So one, two, 
three followed on with three increases in a row one two and three now this brings us to the end of this round and the stitch count is now 24 now going to start the next round by working a single crochet in our first stitch stitch marker back in place we're going to follow the single crochet on with an increase there we go and from here you're going to be working four single crochets in a row one two three four and in these rounds around the bend here we're going to be working one single crochet followed on with an increase and we're going to repeat the um, combination four times all together so here's one single crochet followed on with an increase there's second single crochet followed on with an increase third single crochet followed on with an increase and fourth single crochet followed on with an increase now from here you're going to be working four single crochets in a row one two three four and we're going to finish this round off by working one single crochet followed on with an increase that same combination three times so one single crochet followed on with an increase second single crochet followed on with an increase third single crochet followed on with an increase and there we go once we have finished this round your total stitch count should be 32 now we're going to start the next round and in this round you're going to be working in the back loops only to do this you're going to slip your hook at the back so as you can see each of these stitches are made of two lines they are like v-shape so we're going to be slipping our hook only at the back pull up a loop from there work your single crochet there there's my first one let's slip our hook in the back loop again and work second single crochet and just like this we're going to be working single crochets all the way around till we get to this point all of these single crochets need to be worked in the back loops so go ahead and work that and meet me back here at the end of this round of single crochets in back loops only this is what your work should look like so you can see one line here which makes it a little bit prominent that this is the sole of the foot from here you're going to be working another round of just single crochets but this time we'll be catching a whole full stitch like this so front and back loops so go ahead and work a whole round of single crochets and meet me back here at the end of this round of single crochets your stitch count should still be 32 now I'm going to start the next round with seven single crochets in a row here's my first second third fourth fifth sixth and seventh so once you've got your seven single crochets we're going to be working six decreases to do this you're going to pull up a loop from the next stitch and do the same with the stitch after that three loops on your hook yarn over and pull through all three of these loops just like this go ahead and work four five more decreases to make the total to six that's two three Five and final number six 
and from here we're going to be working eight single crochets in a row. There's one, two, three, Once you have your eight single crochets, we're going to be working two decreases. That's our first decrease. And second decrease. Now followed on with a single crochet in our last stitch of this round. Now this should bring your stitch count to 24. And this is what this foot should look like. Now we're going to start the next round by working six single crochets in a row. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Follow this on with four decreases now. on with 10 single crochets in a row. So go ahead and work that and meet me back here. At the end of this round your stitch count should be 20. We're now going to start the next round with three single crochets in a row. One, two, three, stitch marker back in place. Now we're going to follow this on with six decreases and then five single crochets. So go ahead, work six decreases, followed on with five single crochets and then meet me back here. At the end of this round your stitch count should be 14. Now we're going to start the next round with a single crochet in our first stitch. Stitch marker back in place. And we're going to follow the single crochet on with a single crochet in every one of these stitches all the way around. To finish one round you're going to need 14 single crochets. Once you finish one round you're going to follow the same instructions five times all together to have five rounds of just single crochet. So go ahead and work that and meet me back here. At the end of five rounds of single crochet your stitch count should still be 14. Now we're going to start the next round with 12 single crochets in a row. So there's my first, second, Third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Once you have your 12 single crochets in a row, you should have two stitches left, and we're going to work a decrease in that. And this should bring your stitch count to 13. Now in the next round we're going to start by working a single crochet and we're going to follow the single crochet on with a single crochet in every one of these stitches all the way around. So go ahead and work that and meet me back here. At the end of this round your stitch count should still be 13. We're now going to start the next round with 11 single crochets in a row. Two, should have two stitches left we will work a decrease in those. Now this brings our stitch count to 12. From here we are going to start the next round by working a single crochet in our first stitch and we're going to be following the single crochet on with a single crochet in every one of these stitches all the way around. To finish one round you're going to need 12 single crochets in a row. Once you've done that, you're going to follow the same method three times to have three rounds of single crochet. 
Now, as you can see, I've already gone ahead and stuffed the foot up with fiber fill. So once you've finished working the three rounds of single crochet, make sure to fill the rest of the leg up with fiber fill as well, and then meet me back here. At the end of three rounds of single crochet, your stitch count should still be 12. Now, as you can see, I've gone ahead and stuffed the leg up with some fiber fill and you will notice that your stitch that you finished with is not quite at the edge. So in comparison to the line, it's one stitch away in my case. So I'm going to go ahead and work a single crochet in place just to so that it's in line at the back just here. So once we've done that, from here you're going to be closing the top of the leg by working a few single crochets across the top. To do this, you're going to slip your hook in the next stitch and guide it to come out from the back of the stitches as well. So if I pull it apart, you will see that I've gone through the front and back both in one go. So pull up a loop from there, work a single crochet. And just like this, you're going to move on to the next stitch and from the back as well going to move on to the next stitch, pull up a loop, work your next single crochet, that's your second, third, fourth, fifth and your final one, sixth. And there we go, once you finish that you're going to chain one and let's go ahead and snip this yarn off pull this out of the stitch and pull this down and this finishes one leg going to follow the same instructions one more time to make another one of these so go ahead and do that and meet me back here now going to move on to the body and for this let's go ahead and work a slip knot and chain two two from here to start round one we're going to skip our first chain here and work eight single crochets in the second chain from your hook that's my sixth one seventh and last one number eight once you have your eight single crochets, you're going to pull on this bit of yarn to eliminate the gap between your stitches. And from here, you're going to start working in a spiral, so on top of these previous stitches. Slip your hook in the first single crochet of your previous round and work an increase there. So two single crochets in that same stitch. Here's my first increase of this round. In this round, you're going to work eight increases all together. Here's increase number, number two. Three, four, five, six, seven, and my final one, eight. Now, this should bring your stitch count to 16. So from here, you're going to slip your hook in the next stitch to work one single crochet in that stitch. And we're going to be using a stitch marker to identify the start of my rounds. We're going to follow this single crochet on with an increase. Two single crochets in that same stitch. And here's your combination for this round. One single crochet, followed on with an increase and repeat that all the way around till you get to this point. Go ahead and work that and meet me back here. At the end of this round your stitch count should be 24. Now we're going to start the next round with three single crochets in a row. One, two, three, stitch marker back in place and we're going to follow these three single crochets on with an increase. And here's your combination for this round. Three single crochets in a row, followed on with an increase. Repeat that all the way around. At the end of this round, your stitch count should be 30. We're now going to start the next round with two single crochets in a row. One, two, stitch marker back in place. 
and follow this on with an increase in the next stitch follow this on with two more single crochets in a row that's one and two here is the combination for this round two single crochets followed on with an increase two single crochets repeat that all the way around at the end of this round your stitch count should be 36 we're now going to start the next round with five single crochets in a row one two stitch marker back in place three four five followed on with an increase that's one and two single crochets in that same stitch now this is your combination for this round five single crochets followed on with an increase and repeat that all the way around at the end of this round your stitch count should be 42 we're now going to start the next round with one single crochet in our first stitch stitch marker back in place and we're going to follow this on with a single crochet in every one of these stitches all the way around to finish this round you're going to need 42 single crochets in a row go ahead and work that and meet me back here at the end of this round of single crochets stitch count should still be 42 now we're going to start the next round by working eight single crochets in a row here's my first stitch marker back in place second third fourth fifth sixth seventh and eighth once we have done that you're going to grab one of the legs and we're going to make it face the front like this and we're going to hold this along the top and we're going to be working the next round or the next few stitches along the top of the both of these things joining them two together so to do this you're going to slip your hook in the next stitch or the first stitch of the leg in the corner and go into the next stitch across from where you've just worked like this work six single crochets across the top that's one two three, four, five, and here's my last one, number six, and once we have worked our six single crochets joining the leg onto the body, you're going to move this tail out of the way and continue working a few stitches across here so going to be working 14 single crochets in a row again so that's one two three four five thirteen and fourteen now once you've worked your 14 single crochets in a row this will form the front or the tummy of this bear let's go ahead and grab the other leg now when before we attach this we need to make sure that they're facing the right way and you don't accidentally join a opposite direction so make sure that they're facing the right way hold the leg next to the stitches and we're going to work six single crochets joining both of these things together so slip your hook in the first stitch of the leg and make it go through the back as well like this and work your first single crochet of this round. That's one, two, three, four, five, and here's my final one, number six. And once you've joined both of the legs together onto the body, you should be left with eight stitches that will take you to the end of this round. So go ahead, work those eight single crochets and meet me back here. Once you've worked your eight single crochets, this will take you to the end of the row. And now we're going to start the next round by working a single crochet in our first stitch. Stitch marker back in place. 
follow this single crochet on with a single crochet in every one of these stitches all the way around. Can I show this to you? Well, now you should have a total of 42 stitches. So to finish one round you're going to need to work 42 single crochets in a row. Once you've done that, you're going to follow the same method one more time to have two rounds of just single crochet. So go ahead, work two rounds of single crochet with 42 single crochets in each row and then meet me back here. At the end of two rounds of single crochet, your stitch count should still be 42. Now I'm going to start the next round with five single crochets in a row. Stitch marker back in place. going to follow these five single crochets on with a decrease. To do this you're going to slip your hook in the next stitch, pull up a loop, in the stitch after that pull up a loop. Three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through all three in one go. And just like this you're going to be finishing this round with this combination. Five single crochets followed on with a decrease, repeat that all the way around. At the end of this round your stitch count should be 36. We're now going to start the next round with a single crochet in our first stitch followed on with a single crochet in every one of these stitches all the way around. To finish one round you're going to need 36 single crochets in a row. We're going to be following the same method twice to have two rounds of just single crochets. So go ahead and work that and meet me back here. At the end of two rounds a single crochet your stitch count should still be 36. We're now going to start the next round with four single crochets in a row. One, two, stitch marker back in place, three and four, followed on with a decrease. Slip your hook in the next stitch, pull up a loop, do the same with the stitch after that, pull up a loop, three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through, all three in one go. And here's your combination for this round. Four single crochets, followed on with a decrease, repeat that all the way around. At the end of this round your stitch count should be 30. We're now going to work one whole round of just single crochets. Work your first single crochet, put the stitch marker back in place and go ahead and work a whole round of single crochets and meet me back here. After this round of single crochets your stitch count should still be 30. Now we're going to start the next round with three single crochets in a row. One, two, three, followed on with a decrease, pull up a loop from the next two stitches, three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through, all three in one go. And here's your combination for this round, one, two, three, four, three single crochets in a row, followed on with a decrease and repeat that all the way around. At the end of this round your stitch count should be 24. Let's start the next round with a single crochet in our first stitch. And in this round we're going to work a whole round of single crochets and to finish one round you're going to need 24 single crochets in a row. We're going to follow the same method twice to have two rounds of just single crochets. So go ahead and work two rounds of single crochet and meet me back here. At the end of two rounds of single crochet your stitch count should still be 24. Now going to start the next round with two single crochets in a row. Here's my first, second, Follow this on with a decrease, so pull up a loop from the next two stitches, three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through all three in one go. And here's your combination for this round. Two single crochets, followed on with a decrease, repeat that all the way around. At the end of this round your stitch count should be 18. We're now going to be attaching the arms in within this round, so we're going to start off by working five single crochets in a row. Here's our first single crochet. Stitch marker back in place, second, third, fourth and fifth. Once we've done this we're going to grab one of the arms and we're going to be attaching it up on the top here just the way we did with the legs. But before we do that I would urge you to make sure that the leg and the arm line up like this. So you can hold it in place line it up and double check that the stitch, the arm, end of the arm or the edge of the arm is meeting up with the stitch here. If it isn't then you might have to adjust the number of stitches a little bit. So once you know that they both are in line like this 
going to be working a few stitches across the top to attach this to the body. Now we had four single crochets on top of the arm. So we're going to be attaching this to the body by working four single crochets. Here's my first. Go through the next stitch and the stitch at the back as well. Second. Third. And my final one. Number four. And once you've worked your four single crochets, you're going to work five more single crochets across the front. That's one, two, three, four, and five. Now this should bring us to the end of this round. So we should have four stitches left and we're going to attach this arm on as well. Again, you're going to make sure that the arm and the leg are in line with one another. And this should be perfectly in line. So that's four stitches here. So we're going to connect the two, both of them together. That's one, two, three, four, and final. Make sure to go through that stitch properly and there's my fourth one now this brings us to the end of this round and stitch count should still be 18 as we haven't increased or decreased anything from here you're going to work a single crochet in the next stitch stitch marker back in place follow this single crochet on with a single crochet in every one of these stitches all the way around Go ahead, work a whole round of single crochets and then meet me back here. Once you've worked your one round of single crochets, stitch count should still be the same, which is 18. We're going to finish off by working a slip stitch in the next stitch. So pull up a loop from there and make this loop go through the loop that's already on your hook. Now let's go ahead and snip this yarn off, leaving a long tail because we're going to be using this to attach the head and the body together. And there we go. Now this finishes the body of the bear. There is no sewing required for the arms and legs as we have already stitched them in. So go ahead, stuff this up with some fiber fill and meet me back here. Now onto the muzzle and for this, let's grab our white yarn and work a slip knot using whatever method you prefer. And we're going to chain five. One, two, three, four, five. Once you work your five chains, you're going to skip the first one and we're going to start our stitches from the second chain from our hook. We're going to be working in a, an oval shape. So slip your hook in the next stitch or the second chain from your hook and work your single crochet there. That's your first single crochet of this round. We're going to be working two more single crochets in a row. Here's my second and here's my third. This should leave you with one stitch, chain stitch at the end. We're going to be working three single crochets all in that same chain stitch. Here's my first, back in that same space, second and third. Once we've worked out three single crochets, this will allow us to turn the corner and start working at the base of these stitches. Now I would suggest for you to hold this little bit of yarn alongside the edge so that it gets worked in at the same time. Slip your hook at the base of the next stitch, the one that we already worked in, and work a single crochet. So that's one and two. So we've got two single crochets in a row. Now we're left with one stitch at the end and we're going to work an increase in there. Slip your hook in there and work two single crochets in that same stitch. And there we go now that's that finished and that brings us to the end of round one we're going to be working in a spiral so let's start the next round by slipping our hook in the first single crochet of our previous round and in this we're going to start off by working an increase let's use a stitch marker to identify the start of our round and from here you're going to work two single crochets in a row that's one and two. Now we're going to be working three increases in a row. So there's my first increase, 
second increase, third increase. Follow this on with two single crochets in a row again. One and two. Now you've got two stitches left there and we will be working two increases. Here's my first increase. And my second increase. At the end of this round you should have a total of 16 stitches. We're now going to start the next round by working a single crochet in our first stitch. Stitch marker back in place. We're going to follow the single crochet on with an increase. Follow this on with two single crochets in a row. So there's my first and here's my second. We're now going to have a combination repeated three times and your combination is one single crochet followed on with an increase. That's once, one single crochet followed on with an increase. That's second time and one more time, one single crochet followed on with another increase. Now follow this on with two single crochets in a row, one and two. Now the same combination from here, we're going to repeat that twice on this side. That's one single crochet followed on with an increase and for the last time one single crochet followed on with an increase. Now this should bring your stitch count to 22. Now we're going to start the next round with a single crochet in our first stitch. Stitch marker back in place. We're going to follow the single crochet on with a single crochet in every one of these stitches all the way around. To finish one round you're going to need 22 single crochets in a row. You're going to follow the same method twice to have two rounds of just single crochet. So go ahead and work that and meet me back here. At the end of two rounds of single crochet, your stitch count should still be 22. Now we're going to work a slip stitch in the next stitch to finish off with this muzzle. Now going to leave a long tail and snip this yarn off, pull it out of the stitch and secure it in place. Now we're going to insert a security nose into this muzzle. You can use black yarn to actually embroider a nose out but I'm going to be opting for this one. So we're going to be inserting this in round between round two and three. So as you can see we've got a line or um, a wider round in the middle. So we don't want it to be vertical, we want it to be horizontal like this. There's round one, there's round two, here's round three. So we want it right in between round one, uh, round two and round three. Position it in the center, double check that you're happy with the positioning. I'm happy with the positioning. Let's grab the backing and put that on. And there we go. And now onto the assembly. We're going to start off by attaching the ears onto the head of this bear. We're going to first of all make sure that the stitch that we finished with is on one side and we're going to then pinch the ear in the center to create this natural curve. Now we're going to be attaching this making sure that the edge of this ear is three rounds down or just over the third round. So we're going to be stitching this right in the center of the head and we're going to be positioning this so the edge of the ear is just after the third round. So there's round one, round two, round three. So I can see round three and we're going to be stitching just around it like this. So. When you're stitching this, we're going to lay the ear flat across the head like so. Again, making sure that one, two, three, we've got three rounds here. And we're going to catch one stitch on the head and make the needle go through the ear as well. So if I pull this apart, you can see I've gone through the head and here's the ear. Pull this through, just attaching the ear and the head together and moving along one stitch and same on the ear as well but this time when we're doing this 
we need to make sure that we've gone through the stitches at the back of the ear and the front. So if I pull this apart, you can see my needle has gone through the head here and then the back and the front of the ear as well. And just like this, we're going to take our time to attach and stitch one stitch at a time with the head. Now I'm going around the next stitch. Isolate that one single stitch and slip your needle in the back and the front of these stitches on the ear. And just like this, go ahead and attach the ear onto the head. As you can see, each time I give my thread a little tug just to make sure everything is nice and secure in place. On to the last stitch now. And once you've worked your last stitch, we're going to turn the head the right way and prop this up and make sure that it's attached perfectly in the right position. It is. Now I'm going to just double check the back as well. It's done perfectly. And we're going to secure one end of this by going through the last stitch one more time, like this. And from here, you're going to guide your needle to go through the stitches and come back from the uh, come from the back of the ear. So from here, you're going to isolate just one stitch, create a loop with your yarn, slip your needle inside that loop, and you're going to pull this in gently. This will create a knot in place. If you wish to do this twice. You certainly can to make it really nice and secure. And once you're happy with that, you're going to slip this needle back inside that same stitch, guide it to go through some fibre fill and come out from another side of the head. Pull this out and now we can go ahead and snip this yarn off. And there we go, give this head a little squeeze. And that's one ear attached. Go ahead and follow the same instructions and attach the other ear on as well. Ears are now on, moving on to the eyebrows. To do this, as you can see, I've used a couple of pins to outline the eyebrows and to find out exactly where I want to position them. So you're going to be doing this three rounds above the eye and it's going to take over just, just over two rounds. So you can make it as little or as long of an eyebrow that you would like. So position it as you wish. So we're using the pins because this will enable you to um, take the pins out and make sure that they are symmetrical before you actually go ahead with the, the thread. So once you are happy with the positioning of the eyebrows, you're going to slip your needle threaded with black uh, thread in from the head of the pin and guide it to come out from the tail of the pin like that and once you've done it we can go ahead and remove the pin and we're going to pull this black thread in now we can from here you're going to get rid of this uh, needle and we're going to simply give these two bits of yarn a little knot in place making sure that the knot lies on top of the stitch in the corner just like this and we're making the eyebrows individually because this allows us to make the eyebrows um, independent in a way because if a child pulls this the other one won't be damaged at least this will be just one on its own so once this is done you're going to grab your hook slip it in from another side of the head make it come out from that same stitch where we have just worked that knot. Go ahead and snip this yarn off and yarn this um, embroidery thread onto your hook and pull this in all the way. You can take it out from the other side, slip your hook under and loosen this up a little bit. And there's the eyebrow of this bear. 
And now we can go ahead and snip this extra bit of yarn off. If you still are able to see the thread, just give the head a little squeeze and that should disappear. And there we go, that's one eyebrow done. Going to follow the same instructions to do the other side where your pin is located. So go ahead and work there and meet me back here. Eyebrows are now complete, moving on to the muzzle. And we're going to stuff this muzzle up with some fibre fill before we stitch this onto the head. Let's do that. Position this nose directly in the centre of the eyes like this so that the top of this muzzle is just in the same round as the eyes and once you've done this you're going to hold it in place or use some of these pins to pin it in place it's entirely up to you and we're going to be stitching this onto the head to do this you're going to catch one stitch on the head and one stitch on the muzzle and just like this, you're going to make your way all the way around. So go ahead and do that and meet me back here when you reach the end. I've now made my way all the way around. Let's secure this thread in place. And to do this, you're going to create a loop with your yarn like this. And slip your needle back into that same loop. This will create a knot in place and secure the thread in. Slip your needle back inside that same stitch. Make the thread go through some fibre fill and come out from the next space. And we can now take this bit of yarn and stuff it back inside into the head. And that completes the muzzle. We're now going to add a final detail on the muzzle and going to be making a black line to represent the mouth for this bear. For this you're going to grab some, let's say about 6 to 8 inch of um, yarn or black embroidery thread, going to go around your plastic nose. If you've used um, some thread to just embroidery on there, so just attach this underneath there. So once you've got this equal distance on both sides, we're going to give this a little knot in place, tighten it underneath. And once we've done that, let's twist it a little so it becomes one strand. We're going to either use a darning needle or you can use um, a hook to attach that at the base. So to do this, either thing you use, you're going to isolate one stitch. So I'm going to slip my hook in from one side, pull it out from another. I'm going to just pull one bit of yarn in like this. And using those two strands, I'm going to give them a little knot in place. I always like to double knot things. So, keeping this straight, I'm going to double knot, even triple knot. And once you're happy and um, sure that it's secure, I'm going to use your darning needle, slip it in from another side of the nozzle, uh, the muzzle, pull it out from where this thread is coming out from, and pull this thread in. There we go. Either you can pull it out from there and snip it off or you can just leave it inside that muzzle. And there we have it. That's the mouth of this little bear. Now we're going to use a darning needle and attach the head onto the body. So go ahead and thread this bit of yarn into your darning needle. Grab the body and we're going to be attaching the two things together. We have 18 stitches here and 18 stitches around the neck here as well. So when we're attaching them, we're going to catch one stitch on the head, one stitch on the body very carefully and take your time with this. So as you can see, the, this thread is coming out from the side. So we're going to match it up first basically with the body. So we're going to take the feet as a guidance, lay the bear flat and you're going to Keep the muzzle facing up like this. Keep that in place and find out exactly where you need to attach this thread. So I can see this needs to be attached in this stitch here. So once I've caught that stitch, I'm going to pull my thread through. And now even if I let go of the head, it's in the right place. I know where I need to attach it. Using that as our guidance, I'm going to now move on to 
attaching one stitch on the head and then one stitch on the body. And give it a little pull each time so that the connection is really nice and secure. One stitch on the head, one stitch on the body and just like this one stitch at a time you're going to attach both of these things together. So just like this follow the same method go all the way around and once you get to this place meet me back here. Once you made your way all the way around you're going to catch one stitch so isolate one stitch create a loop slip your hook inside that loop or the needle rather we're going to pull this down to create a knot in place and once we've done that we're going to slip our needle back inside that stitch make it go through some fiber fill and come out from another side of the head And there we go. Once we have done that, we can go ahead and slip this off now. And that attaches the head onto the body. And now the bear is complete. And this is what it looks like. Let's zoom out a little bit for you guys. There we go. It's a really large bear and it's so cuddly and cute. You can either add a little ribbon or a flower or any type of accessory that you might want to add. And that finishes your bear. If you enjoyed making this bear with me, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.